Welcome back to the Weekly Dose. This week, the Zoll AEV Ventilator Bi-Level Ventilation, or BiPAP. Just make the alarms stop. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Listen, there's no point to be afraid of this ventilator. No point to be afraid of this ventilator. It's not a tiger. It's actually a little pussycat. It's going to be okay. It's not the ventilator. Just adjust the settings. I'll show you. It's not the ventilator's fault. There are two major concerns that we need to deal with or that we will deal with uh, with bi-level ventilations. And that's the leaf blower to the face and they are suffocating. They're trying to suck air out of the machine. First, uh, most hospital masks work, uh, so connect our tubing to that, uh, to that mask. It, it works just fine. Uh, just connect it to uh, the regular connection. If the mask is leaking, you have to fix it. And the easiest way to mitigate that is to take your gloved hand, press it against the face. And uh, did that fix the leak? And if so, well, let's tighten the straps and let's keep on going. Uh, if not, then the mask might si the mask size may need to be evaluated, or they may be a little anxious, so we need to treat it. Figure out whether they're suffocating, or does it feel like a leaf blower to the face? So the patient tells you, "I can't get enough air. I'm." I'm suffocating. They're trying to pull the air out of the ventilator. It's not just freely giving it to them. They're having to pull it out. Always start with rise time. No matter the situation, start with rise time. Uh, to find that rise time, you press and hold the breath per minute button. Okay. Well, what is rise time? Rise time is the length of time that the vent will assist with that breath. So the shorter the rise time, the lower the number, the quicker it will provide that inspiratory breath assistance. So the longer the, the rise time, the bigger the number, the slower the inspiratory breath. In this situation, when they're suffocating, they cannot pull enough air out, you go down first. You adjust down by a single number, and you work from there and you continue to work from there so does that feel better better good let's let it ride not 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 any better okay no i've went low on the the rise time and and they're just not getting better now adjust the cycle off percentage what is cycle off percentage? Cycle off percentage is just another part of the inspiratory phase that aids with allowing the breath uh, to be assisted a little longer or it may cut it back sooner. Increasing that percentage will allow for uh, more support of that inspiratory breath just a little longer. Decreasing that number will cut that breath back and not force too much air into someone who doesn't need it. Not enough air, you increase the percentage. Too much air, you decrease the percentage. And you find the cycle off percentage the same place you find rise time. So the default is 25. And in this situation, we want to go up on the rise time. We want to increase it to 40%. So how about now? Better? Yep. Good. Let's let it ride. Not any better? So let's adjust the trigger. So the default setting is actually two. So you're going to adjust this by one value at a time. And the lowest value is 0 0.5. And you're going to adjust that until they're comfortable. The trigger is actually a negative number, but might be easier to think of as a positive number when adjusting this. So when I say adjust down, adjust it closer to 0 0.5 to make it more sensitive and closer to 6 to make it least sensitive. So if they're starving for air, adjust that number closer to uh, that 0 0.5. Now, let's talk about 
the leaf blower into the face. That's too much air. Remember, start with rise time. So in this situation, we're going to go up on our rise time. We're going to adjust it up by a single point. How does that feel? Better? Good. Let's let it ride. Not any better? So now we're going to adjust the cycle off percentage. So adjust the cycle off percentage. So the, remember the default's 25%. And in this situation, we're going to uh, uh, decrease that. And we're going to decrease it by 5% at a time. And we're going to let um, things happen. We're going to see if they get any better. And if they don't, so how about now? They get any better? Yes. Good. Let's let it ride. Not any better? So let's adjust the trigger. Remember the default is two, and when we go uh, up in this number, uh, the the settings become a lot less sensitive. So it's going to take a stronger breath to trigger the ventilator. So we're going to simply adjust that till they're comfortable. And remember, it's one uh, value at a time, one valued number at a time. So the things to remember. Mask seal good? If it not, let's fix it. Is it a leaf blower? If it's a leaf blower, remember up on rise time, when that doesn't fix it, down on cycle off percentage, that doesn't fix it, then we can increase, or I'm sorry, decrease our trigger. Are they suffocating? Remember when they're suffocating, they're trying to pull the air in so let's decrease the rise time make your adjustments make your evaluation of the patient you may need to switch to cycle off time increase the cycle off time or percentage up okay once that's done you may need to increase the trigger I hope this was informative and I hope this helped and if not most of you know how to get a hold of me uh, if not you can send a message through uh, my YouTube page and I will be more than happy to uh, assist with anything I can until next time be safe <laughs>